Now, I'm really gonna challenge you guys today, and I need you to fill in the blank. The best pitcher of this generation is, and you may be wondering, okay, why the prompt, Sierra? Well, Justin Berlander is making his first home start at City Field in Demp. Clayton Kershaw is going for an NL best seventh win of the season. So I'm assuming you may narrow it down to one of these two guys, but you may go in a different direction. Yeah, I mean, you could add Max Scherzer to this list, but I'm going to say one and two. They are the best right-handed and the best left-handed pitchers of our generation. I mean, Clayton Kershaw, 202 wins. Verlander, 245. Uh, Verlander, 3,200 strikeouts. Kershaw, 28-63. They both won the Cy Young three times. They both, both won an MVP. They're both World Series winners. So to sit there and comp these two, I don't know how you do it. And here they go again in their, in their late ages as Kershaw's 35, Verlander's 40, and they continue to dominate. So I can't pick one. Uh, if Kevin wants to pick one, go ahead. But I can't. I think these we, we've seen it. This is... Uh, they're both dominant in their own right, and they continue to do it even in their late age. I like, it. I love it. Kev, are you also going to be yeah, on committal? No, I'm going to be committal because I'm going to just go, who's the richest? So I'm going <laughs> to give it to the veteran and Justin Verlander because Verlander's older, and the year that he had at this age, it was like he's like the new Tom Brady. Listen, they're both dynamic, right? I mean, Clayton Kershaw grew up in Highland Park in Dallas. Matthew Stafford, we know that. That's a very wealthy area, so maybe his parents are richer than Verlander's parents. But I'll tell you this, they're both awesome. Verlander, I'd give the nod to just because of the power. He has been throwing 98 since he was drafted out of high school. Clayton Kershaw, remarkable how he's had to basically just change his game when you lose velocity. It's kind of like what CeCe Sabathia did. You know, he was 95 to 100 fastball slider, and then you get to an age where then CeCe has to start working that two-seam fastball away at 88 to 90. So then that's what Clayton Kershaw developed, this slider that was remarkable. It's like an invisible pitch, and his curveball's always been there, like the Barry Zito curveball. But Justin Verlander, Justin Verlander, you know, Kate Upkin, that commercial was remarkable. Uh, I will give him the nod because of the complete power that he has presented and had to present and hasn't had to dig, kind of stray away from that yet. Okay. I, I like all of your reasons. I, like, I love all of your reasons. Uh, Demp, uh, okay, if you don't want to narrow it down to just one guy, uh, who had a better peak between these two? Mm. Hmm. Better peak? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say I'm, I'm gonna go ahead right here, and I'm gonna give that to Clayton. You're a Kershaw. skier. I'm, I'm gonna say that he, you know, his his peak years in, in LA, just dominating, um, like like really dominating. That, that's a hard one too. There's a there's a little bit less uh, totality in his. You know, Justin Verlander has been playing for 20 years, I believe it is 18 for Kershaw. So there's a little less as far as if you give him a couple years, maybe he catches the totality. But peak years, Clayton Kershaw. There you go.